question. The story of today will be the tin song. Happy birthday, Tom! Said Grandpa. Wow! Thanks. Just what I wanted. Tin soldiers. Oh, this tin soldier only has one leg. Said Grandpa. Attention! Quick march. Tom didn't mind. He spent all day playing. At bedtime, he packed the soldiers back in their box. But the one-legged soldier was missing. Where is he gone? Wonders Tom. Don't worry. We can look for him tomorrow, said Grandpa. Tom's other toys waited until he was asleep. All clear. Now it was their turn to play. Yee Yuppie! Wee! Yappa! Yippee! Yoo-hoo! Yuppie! Yee! The soldiers tried to join in, but they were stuck in their box. Except for the one-legged soldier. He had fallen behind a pile of toy building blocks. But he didn't join in the games. He was gazing at the fairy tale palace in the corner. It once belonged to Tom's sister. A paper ballerina doll stood in the doorway. The pretty ballerina was dancing on one leg. She'd be a perfect wife for me, said the soldier. But suddenly, the angry jack in the box spread up. Keep your eyes to yourself. The soldier ignored him. He smiled at the ballerina. She smiled back. The jealous Jack in the Box turned bright red. Arrgh! Just wait. The next morning, Tom found his missing soldier. He put him by the window. The cruel Jack in the Box saw his chance. Ha! So long, soldier boy! He took a deep breath and blew as hard as he could. <sighs> the tin soldier fell out of the window. He landed on the street below. Ow! cried the soldier. He tried to move, but his foot was stuck. Two boys ran up. Look, said one. A tin soldier! Let's turn him into a sailor, said the other. They made a little boat out of an old newspaper. They stood the tin soldier in the boat. Then they dropped it in the gutter. The tin soldier's boat sailed along the street. Ha ha ha! Oh no, thought the tin soldier. He wished the boat would stop. I feel sick. But things were about to get worse. There was a drain hole in the road ahead. The paper boat shut down the drain. Woo! It landed splash into a dirty, smelly sewer. Foo! said the soldier as he sailed along the tunnel. Suddenly, a fat black rat stood in his way. Pay me a penny to pass, ordered the rat. The soldier had no money. He couldn't stop anyway. Sorry, stinky. Hey, come back. The soldier sailed on and on. Will I ever see the ballerina doll again? He wondered. I must be miles from home. Just then, he noticed daylight up ahead. Whoa! Seconds later, the boat whooshed out the sewer. He landed, splash, in a river. The tin soldier was glad to be out of the sewer. He knew. But he wasn't happy for long. His boat was leaking. The next moment, he was sinking like a stone. Help! And things were about to get worse. A huge fish swam by. 
He looks tasty. Nom, 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 nom. Let's swallow the tin soldier in one go. <laughs> a little hard, but not bad. <laughs> the soldier sat sadly in the fish's tongue. I'll be here forever. But his luck was about to change. Man, cut the fish. What a beauty! He took it to sell it in the market. His grandpa bought the fish. He carried it home for supper. He unwrapped the fish. And the tin soldier fell out. Boom! Grandpa took the tin soldier to Tom's room. Look who I found! Welcome home, soldier! Cried Tom. All the toys were happy to see the toy soldier. Except one. He went hopping mad, broke his spring, and never worked again. The very next day, the tin soldier married the ballerina. And they invited all the toys to a noisy party. After Tom was asleep, of course. The moral of the story is never be jealous. If you liked my video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, keep reading and carry on. Any second now? Bye!